Our objective this week is to explore the differences between graffiti and urban art, and then create an artwork using graffiti style techniques. Vandalism versus urban or street art. It is important to recognize the difference between graffiti vandalism and urban art. Graffiti is illegal and causes damage and removal costs to the victim. Urban art is legal artwork that is installed on surfaces where permission has been granted by the property owner. Urban art projects are generally run by local councils, schools, private organizations, and they aim to create an aesthetic mural in a specific location. Daryl McRae, known by his tag name as Cornbread, was a graffiti artist from Philadelphia, and he was credited with being the first modern graffiti artist. Daryl McRae was born in North Philadelphia in 1953, and he was raised in Brewery Town, a neighborhood of North Philadelphia. During the late 1960s, he and a group of his friends started tagging Philadelphia by writing their nicknames on walls across the city. The movement spread to New York and blossomed into the modern graffiti movement, which reached, reached its peak in the US in the 1980s and then spread to Europe. Since his tagging days, McRae has developed a close relationship with the Philadelphia Mural Arts Program. He is a public speaker and a youth advocate. Lady Pink is also a street artist and muralist from New York, as well as Keith Harrington and Richard Mirando, also known as Neem. Banksy is a street artist whose identity remains unknown. He was believed to have been born in Bristol, England around 1974. To learn more about these graffiti artists and others, you can visit the website on it, your It's Learning page. All right, once you log on to graffiticreator.net, you're going to scroll down and you're going to choose your style of Kodiak. You're going to press load. Scroll down and you're going to hit start. So you're going to put in a word that is school appropriate or your name. I'm going to use the word hopeful. And then I'm going to hit create. Now it automatically generates the word in graffiti style for you. And then you're going to use these um, things down here to add decoration. Also, each letter can be moved by clicking on it and dragging it with your mouse or your finger. I'm gonna stagger these letters so that they go ones up and ones down. Okay, and then you can use these things down here to fill in with color. So this says fill base. That means the bottom of the letters are going to get filled with whatever color I want. So I'm going to, I really want this to be um, a gradual color change. So I'm going to do uh, sunset. And nothing happened because my cursor was still on the white. So I'm going to pick a color from down here. Okay. Now, if I would do sunrise, it would pick um, the top going from the top down. But I, I want sunset. Now I can keep going in and trying different buttons to see what they do. Um, stripes, I can leave them white or I can add color. More stripes. I can add bubbles. I can add bubbles to the top. I can make the bubbles a different color. I can add highlights. Um, an outline. Shadows. And then um, my background. I can I think I'm going to keep it gray. 
You can also change the width of your letters and the height. Um, when you're ready to save, click Save. And then just type in your name for the title. Oops. And I'm going to save this to my desktop. And then just hit the Save button. And when I go to my desktop, it should be right there. And there's my picture.